Hello and welcome to another episode of This Is Australia and Beyond. I'm your host Nick and you may remember me from the previous episode of when we were excavating my backyard. Today we're here in Marrickville at Daniel's Timber to have a look at what material I can use for my internal and external renovation. I've come to this amazing warehouse and I've been blown away by the amount of timber, new and used, that they have to offer. But first, let's have a quick look at our previous episode and have a recap about the excavation. I've come here to find a solution to throw away my shovel and wheelbarrow because I've spent countless hours shoveling back and forth from the back to the front with this um, clay and soil that I have been moving. I just wanted to know if you had any solution for moving the soil with a tight access, maybe using some of your machinery. For your job, I would recommend um, a 1.8 tonner machine. It's only 990 millimeters wide, and so that can go through your um, narrow axis. We have the high tip mini dumpers, hydraulic ones. They're well under one meter wide, and uh, you load the, um, uh, the dirt or the, the, the soil with the excavator, um, and then you move it back to the truck where it rises up to 1.2, 1.3 meters high and just tips it to the, to the truck easy. work in my backyard included a few large garden beds to be removed so I can create a flat area around the pool for a new decking. Getting the excavator of one meter wide through the narrow passage of my house was a difficult part. The gap was 1.2 meters wide and it was very challenging. Keeping the revs down and taking it slow was a way to do it. Having something to watch you is also a help. Once we got the machinery to the backyard and we started digging, we very quickly realized that it was much easier than using a shovel and a bucket or a wheelbarrow. The big excavator bucket made life so much more easier, moving the soil from the back to the front, using the dumper also. This tracked machine can go up and down stairs, but I really advise you to put soil to make it a lot easier for the machine, maybe not to break the step and to not put too much strain on the track. The dumper we are using takes four buckets, which is around two and a half wheelbarrows, which makes your time two and a half times quicker. The dumper of 800 wide made our lives very easy. It has high and low speed to move quickly and slowly where needed. It also had a high reach hydraulic movement which made loading the truck directly from the back to the front much easier. Tipping at a landfill was not an option for me. I'm a strong believer to reuse and recycle so my good dirt wouldn't go and be buried under hundreds and thousands of tons of rubbish and costing me thousands of dollars just to get rid of. So I began to start searching for a site or somebody that really needed good soil for their garden or for their grass. I found this place about 20 minutes away. He was a man in need of soil for his grass. My rubbish now became somebody else's treasure. I saved around two and a half thousand dollars in tipping fees and my neighbor saved about fifteen hundred dollars in buying new soil. Overall, this job would have cost me a minimum of around seven thousand dollars. In actual fact, it just cost me a few hundred dollars for hiring the equipment. I was the operator of the excavator, I drove the mini dumper up and down the site and I also drove the truck to and from the site that I was tipping at. A 
Okay, so a job well done, thanks to Top Hire at Padstow. It took one and a half days to move all the soil. It was ended up being six truckloads using a dumper and this mini excavator. It was really easy work to do, but if you don't know how to use one of these machinery, it's best to use it, leave it to the professionals. You can contact us if you have any inquiries or if you need the job done. Also contact Top Hire if you would like to hire any of their equipment. I would like to give a big thank you to Dennis from All Sydney Construction for letting us use his tipper and some of his equipment from his job site. Geez, that was a good day. Top Hire helped me so much with the excavation work. He made life so much easier. If you need any help or advice at your place, give us a quick email on the email provided on your screen and we'll be more than happy to help you out or possibly do the job for you. Now back at Danias Timbers, I've had a look around and I'm absolutely amazed by the amount of timber that they actually do have. Whilst walking around, I came across an artisan named Darren who can recreate almost anything you ask him. With their machinery here, they can make tabletops, architraves, skirting boards, anything to any design you can imagine. My name's Darren, I'm the uh, head machinist here at Danias Timber. Um, Mainly what we do here is uh, copy or get as close as we can to uh, mouldings that customers bring into us. Uh, for example, architraves, skirting boards, uh, bits of flooring, handrails, uh, you name it, where timber mouldings for, for mainly for houses are needed, we can copy it uh, here. Yeah. For example, a customer will come in with a sample like this of a colonial skirting board. So we'll look have a look at the colours we've got and get the closest one possible which would be something similar like that this spins it in the machine say on a head and spins around and it cuts this shape out as the timber's going through the machine this will cut the shape out again the same with this one as it's going through the machine this groove cutter will cut out that groove mainly what we do we, if someone wants a um, lining board we have big jointed lining board heads where we can make lining boards to any size. Flooring, TNG flooring. Again, any size, any thickness that people uh, want. Skirting boards, architraves, uh, you name it, picture rails. Uh, we can just about copy anything. What we use is a six headed moulding machine where six heads means it's got six cylinder heads that spin around and plane the timber. One, two on the bottom, two on the sides, two on the top. The machines are very expensive but it does the job in a quarter of the time is what it used to. Back in the old days you had to use uh, wooden planes of different shapes and, and keep planing the timber to get the shape. These days we just put a cylinder head on the machine, feed the timber through and the uh, the head will cut the shape to our, the, the, the uh, size and shape we want. I've been in the uh, actual trade, wood machining, for uh, nearly 30 years now. I did my trade uh, at Tech, as, as you do, uh, for four years. Um, and now it's, uh, every job you do has to be to the millimetre, so you've got to be pretty perfect at, at, at getting that shape spot on. So, um, especially with flooring and stuff, the tongue and groove have to go together properly. Otherwise, the builder's going to have trouble trying to put the flooring in. Um, same with anything, really, lining boards, everything has to line up, otherwise, nothing's going to go together. Um, it's a dangerous trade, as luckily I've still got all my fingers, uh, but accidents can happen. You have a lot of sharp, sharp um, machinery, uh, sharp saws, anything can happen, but you just got to be safe and. and um, do the job and just be, just be careful. It is, a, it is a good rewarding job. At the end of the day when you, you watch doing all these mouldings and you see how they come out nice and then they go into people's houses, it is pretty rewarding. Especially when a customer says to you, oh, you've done a really nice job, it, it looks, looks great. So as for any mouldings you need done, uh, Denny's Timmer is the place to come. Um, any old mouldings you need copied, I can do it. Um, and you see maybe in a magazine or you show me a photo, I should be able to copy it or get it pretty close anyway. Or even if you like to design your own mouldings, 
um, just bring me a drawing and I'll see what I can do to copy that as well. Um, if you don't mind paying the, the cost to get tooling made up, I can make the tooling and do just about whatever you want in any timber, doesn't matter. Uh, just I usually do uh, most, most timbers, as long as it's not custom wood, uh, but anything to keep the customer happy. After having a look at what Darren can do with his hands, it's absolutely amazing. It's really crazy to think that people used to recreate these things with their bare hands back many years ago. And now to see what we can do with machinery. In this section we're standing in right now, I got a fantastic opportunity to speak to a guy called Merv. He explained to me that this is where Danius keeps their hardwood timber. Let's go and have a look what he has to say. Hi, my name is Merv. I work for Danius Timber Company. As far as Australian hardwoods go, we probably have the best selection in Australia. We can mill hardwoods, we can turn it into flooring. We can section it, we can thickness it, which is a machine that will take it down and dress it. We can do any specific sizes. We specialise in flooring as such. We've got a very big flooring division. We carry all our own timber. We mill it to people's specs. Uh, we do bearers and joists. We've got anything you name in the timber. As far as Australian hardwoods go, we can look after you. Nowadays with the internet, a lot of people are very savvy as to what hardwoods are available. We carry probably the biggest range of Australian hardwoods around. Uh, what used to be like five or six different types, now there are literally hundreds. We carry all the popular ones, we dress it, we make timber out of it, we do anything. Flooring, you name it, we've got it. Wow, isn't all that hardwood so amazing? Before I came here, I really thought it just went to firewood or I really didn't know what they did with it. But it's amazing to see how many different species there are and how you could really bring the features out by sending it back or using different techniques. Now let's go back with Merv to see what else he's in charge of. I've seen a machine that cuts plywood, doors, timber, any sorts of board down to a millimetre. I run this section with the plywood and we cut up a lot of this stuff, waters we get. We've got a, a computerized cutting saw here, which we do uh, mainly cutting of plywood, sheets of plywood, doors, trims, whatever, hardwood, softwood, this machine does it all. It's an invaluable asset to have because when you're doing a door, everything's got to be cut straight. This will cut anything to within half a mil. I've been employed here for a few years now. We specialise in timber, softwoods, hardwoods, all sorts of things. Whatever your needs are, come to Dennis, we'll look after you. Walking around this amazing yard, I took special attention to the recycle and reuse area. There they had hardwood and Oregon. Having a look at that timber, it reminds me of all the cafes and restaurants I've been to lately, using it as feature. I have a particular table at home made out of hardwood and it's amazing. If you would like something like this table, or anything else made, send us an email and we'll be happy to help you out. All right, so I'm almost done here at Danias Timbers in Marrickville. I've got my hardwood, my retaining wall timbers, and anything I really needed for my renovation. Here I've found sand and cement, doors, fascias, skirting boards, timbers, architraves, and almost anything I've needed. It's been a great help. Now let's go to another segment, to a building site where Harry's trying to find a solution to another problem. We mentioned at the beginning about the water damage in any building. Now this is a typical example. This downpipe was blocked down the bottom there and all the water was going under the footings. Now these footings are made out of sandstone and while the whole house is just on a sandstone bed, this particular corner was on clay. And what happened? All the water of course just took all the clay out of underneath the foundations and now we have a big problem. We fix a problem with the water damage 
and the downpipe. But look at all the cracks. The whole front of the house is just gone. By mud, that much, if you put all these cracks together, at the top especially, you can see how the whole house is leaning forward. And that's because of water. Now, okay, we talked about the boom in the Sydney property. But unfortunately, we have some pitfalls and some problems. And we're going to have a look at that now. Now, look at that particular building. Could you believe that this building was five years old and they had to evacuate all the people from there so they can fix water leakage problems? Yes, five years old. And you know why? Because of waterproofing. Because they didn't do the waterproofing properly. And this is what I'm saying, is that sometimes we skimp on quality, we get some imported products that the inferior quality, and then, especially on waterproofing, the most important part of any building for me is waterproofing. Because if something goes wrong, you have to demolish the whole thing. And you have to start from scratch. Can you imagine? You buy in this beautiful apartment and suddenly you're faced with a huge bill to demolish everything and rebuild it. Five years later, it's not right. Now look at these buildings here. All this is happening because the developers and the builders are trying to cut corners so they can make more money. It's all because of profit. But at the end, you that you're buying these properties are paying the price. So you either have to buy some quality stuff from a well-known builder and developer or make sure that things like the waterproofing are done properly. Now, we're going to go and get some expert advice on waterproofing from a company that is based in Sydney, a made in Australia product, and it's called Enviro Systems. Let's go and have a look. What is Enviro Systems? Enviro Systems Technologies produces a number of materials for the construction industry. Um, originally starting out in waterproofing, uh, we've since expanded into a variety of different products that cover the whole scope of a building project, uh, including flooring, sealants, coatings, remedial works, as well as adhesives. Um, so the full range of materials are applicable to any number of the stages of a construction project, uh, including bathrooms, residential and commercial towers, uh, remedial works uh, for existing buildings and structures, as well as uh, residential and DIY projects, uh, including gardens, exterior, rooftops, balconies, bathrooms. Um, so the, the range is quite big. What do you do exactly? Envirosystem Technologies uh, prides itself on being completely and wholly Australian made and owned. Uh, we were founded just over 10 years ago as waterproofing technologies and have since expanded to be Envirosystem Technologies based off our mantra which is environmentally friendly technology. Our products are designed for the Australian environment and the harsh Australian climate for exterior and interior applications. You still operate from here, from Australia, but how do you manage to be competitive? A lot of other competitive products have moved their production to areas in Southeast Asia, um, as well as Central Asia to reduce costs and to save, save money. Enviro Systems has kept all our production um, domestically, uh, which is extremely important to ensure that the quality of our products is maintained at a high standard. We are the only company left producing our products um, in Australia. Tell me, how important is waterproofing? Waterproofing, like many of the other facets that we're involved in, is an, is an extremely important um, stage of the production of a building. Um, with waterproofing, there are two different types of areas in a building. There's a critical and a non-critical waterproof area. So um, in a lot of buildings, uh, any waterproofing area that is over a habitable space is considered to be critical and therefore it's imperative that the products that you use are designed to outlast the warranty that they've been um, applied for. I find that a lot of newer construction buildings are offering shorter and shorter warranties. Um, basically this is on the basis that they're using cheaper products to endorse their projects and as a result you'll find that a lot of the cheaper products are only a guaranteed for five years at the most. So a standard construction project these days will only offer maybe a seven year warranty. Um, and then after that, it's the strata's um, responsibility to take care of any, any failures from there on. If you don't do it right, and it, five years time or 10 years time, you have to redo it. What, does, what do you have to do? Do you have to demolish the whole thing? So Not really. unfortunately with bathrooms, um, 
with something like waterproofing, you can't cut corners. We have a lot of customers come in asking if they can waterproof over an existing bathroom's tiles, um, which you can't. So you'll so find- you have to demolish Yeah, you have to pull everything. up. Absolutely. So you have to and remove- do it. Yeah, remove all the existing tile work and then the existing waterproofing and start again. You have a good quality product that it's made in Australia and it's made for Australian conditions. But how do you know if the tradesmen that they apply the products they don't cut corners and the quality hasn't been uh, compromised. We sell wholesale, we also sell directly to um, uh, retail customers, as well as we operate uh, working with um, certified applicators as well as contractors. So in a large project such as Barangaroo or a large hospital or a large apartment block where a specified applicator is um, completing the product, uh, the project, it's important that um, when using Enviro Systems products, uh, we need to do quality assurance checks to make sure that the product's been applied properly. So oftentimes you'll find if a contractor has specified our product, that it would be part of the agreement with that contractor that our, we would inspect the works to make sure that the product has been applied to the highest quality and to its instructions as per our specifications. What sort of warranty do you um, give with your products? Oftentimes we give a 10 year warranty, no questions asked. And then from there, depending on who the applicator is, as well as the agreements and its application uh, and setting, we could extend that out to 25. We have done 50 before. Something that we also pride ourselves on, our technical team has a combined um, number of years of experience of 200 years plus. Um, and as a result, we have a very diverse technical team, including chemists, engineers, well, you architects. Have your own chemists. Absolutely. So we have a laboratory. Here in Australia? Yeah, in St. Peter's. So you have more Australian people working here? Absolutely. So we have Australian chemists, Australian engineers uh, who work on a daily basis um, on Q&A as well as um, R&D. So uh, we are constantly improving and troubleshooting any issues with our products to make sure that the products that we have on the shelves are the latest technology um, as well as the highest quality. Enviro Systems Technologies, uh, one of our key mantras is environmentally responsible technology. Contrary to uh, a lot of our competitors and the construction industry in general, uh, we aim to develop our products so that they offset a lot of the negative environmental impacts of construction. I can actually quote uh, one of our sales operatives uh, when we were tendering for the Fiona Stanley Hospital in Western Australia. He said that our products could be eaten if you wanted to. I can't imagine that it would taste very nice, but um, I either, yes. no, but it's true. <laughs> you, you, if you're feeling peckish, Maybe by all means, nice yeah, that's <laughs> it. A bit of tomato sauce, you'll be fine. You know, it's super important, especially people who are DIY and, and renovating their own bathrooms. If you've got children around or pets, um, you can use our products in your bathroom and rest assured that um, you won't be creating an environment that could be harmful to anyone around. Do you export any of your products? We have um, sold our products overseas. We've, um, we've worked on projects in Singapore, um, as well as over in New Zealand as well. So finally, tell me, why should people come and buy your product? If you come into our store, you'll be able to purchase a product that's of high quality, as well as receive personal service from someone who's worked on this product in Australia, in Sydney that would be able to offer you full technical advice and support, as well as any troubleshooting questions you may have. So after extensive underpinning, we managed to save this part of the house. But remember, good waterproofing, it's very important. Make sure you use Australian products, good quality products like our products, and don't skimp on waterproofing. All right, guys, that concludes another episode of This Is Australia and Beyond. Please don't hesitate to send us an email or give us a call if you need any help with excavation or to get your hands on any recycled hardwood or timber. We'll be more than happy to help, even make you a table, whatever size you may need. Thank you for joining us on another episode of This Is Australia and Beyond. I'm Nicholas Menagakis and I'll see you next week.